Today, we go from this, to this, to this and to this. I have found two quick release trigger clamps in the trash and decided to restore them. One because in the woodworking shop you can never have enough clamps, 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 clamps. I also decided to restore them because those clamps offer over four feet of clamping capacity that I currently do not have, and because new, they can be quite expensive. There are however a few issues to solve. There is a lot of rust. The movable jaws are ceased and no longer move. Both fixed jaws are missing. In the worst case, this could also be an option to make a single clamp. So, let's tackle each challenge one at a time, starting by checking if the movable jaw can be set in motion. If the mechanism of the movable jaw is damaged or broken, the clamp is useless altogether, so seems a good place to start. For this, let's apply the first rule of DIY. Thou shalt never underestimate the power of lubrication. Now the jaw is moving, my original plan was to give the rusty bars a white vinegar bath which means I had to remove the movable jaw from the clamp. I however changed my plan as I realized that removing the jaws from the clamps would mean fiddling with metal plates and springs and could result in a nightmare to build them back. I therefore moved to plan B brushing directly white vinegar on the bars with an old toothbrush. Since there is a small curve at the center of the bar, the vinegar will naturally sit in the middle and soak gently into the iron. After two hours, I used a piece of aluminium foil to act as a cleaning pad to brush away the rust particles. I then used an old rag to clean up the mess. Before. After. Before. After. Satisfied with this first cleaning, I went to apply the same recipe to the other side of the clamps. As I could not give the bars a full white vinegar bath, I still have here and the patches of rust that I will now take care of with sandpaper. 80 grids for the pre-work, 240 grids for the finish. A word about tools guys. I'm not a tool enthusiast. I cannot get excited by shiny looking tools. For me, 
The best tool is the one that you can find without searching for it. It is an object that you use to do some work, it is not a fashion accessory. So, while restoring the clamps, I will therefore aim at bringing them back to a decent state where they can be used, not make show models out of them, since to me at least, this delivers no value nor excitement. At that stage, I'm satisfied with the cleanliness of the bars since it assures an effortless motion of the movable jaw. The next step will be to protect the bars from rust. For this, I opted to use plain old Vaseline, since it acts both as a lubrication agent for the parts and provides, in my environment, sufficient protection against rust. After applying a good layer, I can check and confirm that all is working as designed. I can now start cleaning up the mess I made, since I believe I have rust up till my butt. And start thinking about the last part to finish this restoration project, the making of two new fixed jaws. I'm sure you kept wondering why my hands always look so beautiful during this project. Well, I keep them hydrated with Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenish Hydrator, that not only is good for your hands, but also for your d-